Hello friends, this is Sam Chang reporting for WeaponizingNews.com. Today is April 11th, 2017, and there's rumors of war. Matthew 24, 6, King James Version of the Bible. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all those things may come to pass, but the end is not yet. Let's pray for peace. Let's go to the headlines and update the geopolitical developments between the United States, Syria, Russia, North Korea, and China. Trump not going into Syria. Mathis, this won't spiral out of control. Drudge Report. North Korea will nuke you, Trump. We aren't sending, we are sending our mod up very powerful, including subs. Vladimir Putin says U.S. is preparing to bomb Syrian capital and will blame devastation on Bashar al-Assad's forces. The Russian leader made the astonishing claim during a press conference in Italy on Tuesday. Putin says expects fake gas attacks to discredit Syria's Assad. On Tuesday, Vladimir Putin said he had information that the United States was planning to launch new missile strikes on Syria and that there were plans to fake chemical weapons attacks there. White House accuses Russia of cover-up in Syrian chemical attack. And there's this back and forth. The report out, came out of the Associated Press yesterday citing anonymous officials saying this. But as far as I'm, as far as I know, it has not been confirmed. But of course, the New York Times is going to run with it. U.S. says Russia tried to cover up Syrian sarin gas attacks. White House officials suggest Moscow knew sarin would be used. And of course, a senior White House official who has not been named. U.S.-Russia tensions over Syria will not spiral out of control. Secretary of Defense General Mattis says Trump is enlisting in the war party, and that's Pat Buchanan. And he goes down through here saying the same thing that Ron Paul's been saying and a bunch of other people that this was probably a false flag because who have a hard on for war, the neocons, John McCain, Lindsey Graham, Marco Rubio. They love war, even though the United States has funded, trained, and supplied the, quote, moderate rebels fighting Assad in Syria. They're actually Al-Qaeda, ISIS jihadists. Let's just call them jihadists, because that's what they are. But uh, down here in this article... Pat Buchanan says, like the gas attack in 2013, this has the marks of a false flag operation to stampede America into Syria's civil war. Now to North Korea. North Korea state media warns of nuclear strike if provoked as U.S. warships approach. North Korean media warns of nuclear strike on U.S. if provoked. U.S. warships head for Korean Peninsula. Trump says North Korea looking for trouble. Russia really worried about possible U.S. attack on North Korea. And of course, as reported yesterday, President Trump, we are sending an armada, very powerful, including submarines, to North Korea. Continuing, Putin, Syrian chemical attack was false flag. More coming. Out of Zero Hedge, intelligence and military sources who warned about WMD lies before Iraq war now say that Assad did not use chemical weapons. Continuing, let's hear now from former British ambassador to Syria. In fact, we don't know. Uh, what's needed is an investigation 
because there are two possibilities for what happened. One is the American version that Assad dropped chemical weapons on this locality. The other version is that an ordinary bomb was dropped and it hit a munitions dump. The jihadis were storing chemical weapons. We don't know which of these two possibilities is the correct one. Remember the run-up to Iraq. The experts, the intelligence agencies, the politicians were convinced that Saddam had weapons of mass destruction. They produced reams of evidence, photographs, diagrams. It was all wrong. It was all wrong. It's possible that they're wrong in this instance as well, that they're just looking for a, a pretext to attack Syria. And let's not deceive ourselves. What has happened makes more use of chemical weapons more likely, not less. Well, the, the sentiment that you're talking about there chimes most um, amongst international reaction to what happened, the chemical attack, with what Russia is saying. You chime most with them. We heard from Michael Fallon, the Defense Secretary. He is convinced by the evidence sufficient that he backs uh, this action. Why is it then that you are, if you like, a relatively well, lone well, I, voice? I, I don't leave my brains at the door when I examine a situation uh, analytically. Uh, I try to be objective, uh, and based on previous experience, including uh, Iraq, uh, we can see that we cannot take at face uh, value what the so-called intelligence experts tell us, not when they have an agenda. Um, but uh, come back to the main point, that it's not going to end here, and we are likely, Britain, to be dragged into it, because Trump has just given the jihadis a thousand reasons to stage fake flag operations, seeing how successful and how easy it is with a gullible media to uh, provoke uh, let the West into intemperate reactions, they will very likely stage an operation similar to what they did, and this was documented by the United Nations in August last year. They mounted a chlorine gas attack on civilians and they tried to make it look like it was a regime operation. This, mark my words, you, you're hearing it here. And it will happen, and we'll get all the, the warmongers coming to tell us that, that Assad is defying us, and we must go in more heavily into Syria. This will be fake flag. If I can't just... A fake flag attack, that's exactly what Pat Buchanan is saying. That's exactly what Ron Paul is saying. That's exactly what Vladimir Putin is saying. And a lot of other people. So keep that in mind. A fake flag attack by the jihadists as a pretext to go into war. Let's hope that things are de-escalating. We're not going into Syria. Trump says ground troops won't be sent in, to, in as he reveals. He immediately called General Mathis when he saw the images of children suffering. Trump insisted we're not going into Syria and that policy hasn't changed. He also described Assad as a butcher and a barbarian for using sarin gas on his people, but insisted the priority in the Middle East was still to defeat ISIS. He also slammed the Obama administration for not doing enough in Syria. New York Post, Trump, we're not going into Syria. Hopefully, Syria-Russia situation is de-escalating. Rex Tillerson, Secretary of State, arrived in Moscow and will meet with Putin amid war of words over Syria and Assad. Putin was planning on passing Tillerson off to his foreign secretary, A Russian television station says that they will meet. After all, neither the State Department nor the White House has confirmed this. Russia has ripped the U.S. for its air assault in Syria and warned Donald Trump that he was one step from war with the country after the attack. Tillerson hammered Russia right back on Tuesday, saying it had failed in its responsibility to locate and destroy Assad's chemical weapons. Trump, Secretary of State, said the U.S. believes 
that Russia could be persuaded to switch sides now that it knows Assad is an unreliable partner. Putin said Tuesday that Assad was framed for the gas tax and he has intel that more are coming. White House officials slapped down that claim and others said it was false. U.S. officials say there's no consensus that Russia knew about the sarin gas attack before it happened while suggesting that it did. As I was saying earlier, that report came out of AP unnamed White House officials suggesting that Russia was complicit in the chemical weapons attack. Continuing, Russia says it won't shoot down U.S. missiles if Trump orders another Syrian airstrike because they are not there to fight terrorism. They are there to fight terrorism, not external threats. Continuing, in this report yesterday, South Korean paper reports China has deployed 150,000 troops to North Korean border. That was unconfirmed. Maybe that's just saber rattling by South Korea. Another report refuting that out of the Daily Caller. Reports of 150,000 Chinese troops moving on the North Korean border are pure fiction. It was unconfirmed. So maybe that's just propaganda out of South Korean newspaper. Very possibly. So it it looks like things are de-escalating between the United States and Russia in Syria. Trump says we're not going into Syria. Russia says they won't shoot down U.S. missiles if Trump orders another strike. Let's shift now to South Korea and North Korea and China. North Korea has been shooting off missiles at Japan, threatening to destroy America, to nuke America. Keep in mind, when Trump launched the missile strike on Syria, he was having dinner with the Chinese president. Did this light a fire under China's ass to do something about North Korea, who is supposedly their proxy bulldog in the world. We don't know. Maybe they're just complete insane lunatics. Kim Jong-un. This report came out today. China threatens to bomb North Korea's nuclear facilities if it crosses Beijing's bottom line. So now is China going to step in and take care of North Korea? Let's hope that they do. So again, let's pray for peace. Realize that this saber-rattling wars and rumors of war have been prophesied in the Bible. Prepare. We need to prepare. If nuclear war breaks out, which U.S. cities would be targeted first? Of course, Russia, China would target military bases first, as Joel Skousen has reported for a long time now. They will launch their nuclear missiles and the United States will will be given a stand down order or not to launch to take out their missiles and they will strike U.S. military targets and possibly major cities. It's obvious, right? Major population centers, Washington, D.C., New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, Dallas, Miami, Seattle, Houston, Denver, Philadelphia, San Francisco, Phoenix, Tampa, St. Louis, Minneapolis, Boston, Atlanta, all potential targets for a nuclear strike. Pray for peace. Realize that these things must come to pass. And this is not the end yet. It seems like there is a de-escalation going on now. We are meeting 
The United States is meeting with Russia. Trump says we're not sending ground forces into Syria. China seems to be backing down North Korea. So hopefully things will de-escalate from this point. Again, pray for peace. Do your own research. Subscribe to this channel. Speak out and take action.